everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'm in the Cricut Design Space, and um, I had this thought. I have a Brother Scan and Cut, which I use when I do stamped images uh, that I want to have an outline, a consistent outline cut around it. But I thought there's got to be something in the Cricut that could be comparable on how to do that, to cut an outline. Well, my brain kicked into gear and here's what I figured out and I'm just so excited to share it with you guys. I'm actually making a birthday card for my nephew. He loves uh, hippopotamus. He's actually 32 years old, but that's okay. I send him a birthday card with a hippopotamus every year. I'm gonna go into images and um, the first one up, cause I'm gonna put a balloon image on the uh, card as well. And I believe I picked uh, this one here. <clears throat> This is my for my original card and it's from stretch your imagination so i'm going to click on that image and i'm going to insert it onto my map i'm going to size it down to about one inch height and you'll see why in a second actually that's too small we'll do two okay then i'm going to go into images and i'm going to search hippopotamus And I liked this one here. Now, typically I would do either cut the layers or print and cut, which um, which is fine. I mean, that's what I've always done. And if you wanna do print and cut, maybe you're new at this, I'll just show you real quick. You can change the colors of that image by going into your right, the right margin of the Chrysic Design Space. You're clicking on the circles of the colors and just changing them like that okay but that's not what i'm going to do here i got to show you this people i'm telling you i am so excited i'm going to go over to each well let me size this guy first um i'm going to do 2.0 because he's going to go on the card um i'm going to duplicate it and flip it and doing all kinds of fun stuff here <clears throat> excuse me so um i'm going to Ask Cricut Design Space by clicking on the colored circles to write it. I'm right over here if you guys are wondering where I'm at. So I'm going to click on the blue one. This little panel flips out and I'm going to say write. <clears throat> so sorry, I got goopies in my throat. I'm going to click on the second one and I'm going to ask it to write it. I'm going to click on the third one. I'm going to ask to write it. I'm going to click on the fourth one, ask to write it. Now, just a side note here, this may not be what you need to do for every single image that you want to actually write out. Okay, so I have this last one here, the eye is closed. I'm going to I'm going to open up that eye and I'm going to keep it to cut. Okay. Now you're looking over at that hippopotamus going, "Well, what the heck?" What, what happened to all the images? Well, you'll see. Clicking on it, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy, and then I'm gonna paste it. And then I'm gonna come up here to the top, just move that over so you can see it better, and I'm going to flip horizontally. Then I'm gonna go back to each one and go down to the bottom right and say attach. Same for this one here. Go all the way down and say, attach. Attach is right down there. So let's do the balloon just for a little bit more practice. Right now it's under um, just cutting all the images. As you can see here, these are all on the cut set. I'm going to click on the red one. I'm gonna say, right. I'm gonna click, click on the blue one, say, right. And then I'm gonna click on this last black one, which the eye is closed, so it's not going to let me do any alterations. So I'm going to open up that eye, let's click it again, just in case you have that problem where you're like, I don't know why this isn't opening up. I'm going to click on right, and then this last one here, I have to open that one up because it is just closed by default. I'm going to click on it. Well, it doesn't matter um, what color it is, but you can change it black if you want to do that. <clears throat> and then it's going to cut that. Okay, so let's go on to the make it. See what happens when you don't click on attach. 
I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to highlight the image. I'm going to go down here to the bottom right and click attach. Now let's go on to the make it. This will be your first mat. <clears throat> and um, for some reason the balloon didn't show up. Let's cancel that. Um, it is on here. So Cricut Design Space this last couple of days, this is like beginning of February 2018. It's been kind of quirky. Not sure why. Well, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue. And um, I've already cut this out. All the images are over on my craft table. Again, I'm sure seeing here there's kind of a glitch. I don't know. They must be updating their software or something. Um, but if you're familiar with this at this point, it is going to go ahead and draw and cut it. So um, let's go over to the my uh, craft table and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so I'm here at my craft table. I get my chair pushed in here. All right, so here's what it did. It went ahead and it followed the instructions that I gave it. It drew the image, which you asked it to do by clicking on all those circles and, and uh, choosing the right option. And then that very last image, which was the, the uh, which was a layer, um, you asked it to cut it. So I just went ahead and colored one of them. That's that's how it turns out. Now I'm going to ask Ashish at Cricut if there's a way that they can calibrate it so that the outline is even all the way around. As you can see, right at the top here, for some reason, it cut right on the line. It, it's not a big deal for me for this card, but how cool would that be if you um, were able to go ahead and write your images. I don't know if this works for all the images on Cricut Design Space, but for this one it worked out. But to, to write the image like it did and then cut it with an even border all the way around. Isn't that so adorable? Um, so I'm not really sure even how to get in contact with them, but it, it would be really super cool. So that's going to be my card. I'm not going to do the card here on this video. Uh, I will post it on my blog so you can see a picture when I'm done. But um, I have a brother scan and cut. I wanted to mention this, um, but from the get go, it hasn't always been consistent for me. With I, I stamp an image, and sometimes it cuts the inside of the image, and I've tried it all, you know, according to the instructions that were given and stuff. And just for some reason, like it's like hit and miss. But since I use my Cricut 24/7 practically, I would absolutely love it if um, they could fix this. So. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this is helpful. I'm very excited about this. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know and I will get back to you. Have a great day.